Yeah. Um, so the biography, I'll, I'll get through that fairly quickly because you can, we, we did some of this stuff on the, on, the, on, on our show. And if you want to get into depth there, that's, that's available. Um, the, the I think the way the book is often discussed is in terms of Lee Strobel's own conversion story, right? Um, that he himself uh, was a skeptic, his wife became a Christian, and uh, and then he went and investigated the evidence for Christianity himself and was so compelled by the evidence that he had to go and become a Christian himself. Um when you look at the book, it's clear that whatever the investigation was that Strobel actually went through, and he nods this in this direction towards the very, very end of the book, uh, but in the rest, the rest of the book, I would say, leans very much the other way. Um, whatever is whatever the content of the actual book is, so most of the book is just interviews with um, mo with, with the Christian apologists. Um, whatever those interviews are, cannot have been the actual uh, investigative process by which Strobel himself became a Christian. Uh, I don't know what that process was for him, but it's not what's in this book. Um, it happened too late in life. This book came out in 1998, and uh, he became a Christian in 1981, he says in the intro. Um, most of the scholars he interviews were not active in the late 70s or early 80s. Uh, and... It, that in itself wouldn't be so bad, I don't think, that, you know, this is maybe not the actual process he went through, but it's something a lot like it. Um, except for the fact that he repeatedly presents himself as the skeptic that has to be won over in this book. And that's just not true. Uh, at the time that he wrote the book, he'd been a pastor for 10 years. He was not a skeptic. Mm -hmm. So uh, when you get these chapters of, you know, he goes in to sit down across from Craig Blomberg, and he just, you know, he, he's a... Uh, He's just not buying this, and he's so incredulous. It's like, well, this is called clearly quite put on, right? You actually do buy this a lot. And that's a... I, yeah, I, I found that whole thing distasteful. Um, but also the thing I was least... The, the thing that, as a historian, I'm the least interested in, except that, you know, your, your historical tools come out every time you're reading a narrative and you yeah. want to check for plausibility. Um but the bigger issue I had with this book, um, and we reviewed very little of it for this show. We really just tried to stick with stuff that was within the purview of, uh, of a New Testament scholar. Uh, so the, so Bl Blomberg's interview and Bruce Metzger's interview. Mm -hmm. Um, and we really wanted to stick with talking about that. And I think a lot of the evidence that's in, that's thrown out in those chapters, um, is either just straight up incorrect. There's a number of mistakes. Uh, it is marshaled to answer questions that that scholarship wasn't really meant to answer, so it's misapplied, uh, or it's kind of wrong by degrees. You know, so it's not it's not completely wrong, but it's definitely a bit inaccurate. Mm -hmm. So uh, if you want to hear specific examples for all of that, um, pull up the show. But that was that that was the way I generally approached it. 